Yep. More bits of shit. I want to get this in. This is the uh, windscreen vent uh, for the driver's side or the right hand side. Unfortunately, it won't just tuck in. I should have put it in before I put the dash in. Never mind, I will take the dash out and fit this in and it will go in thusly. The screw holes will already be there. Just got to find the screws. Now, in order to get the dash out, there are a number of, uh, there's a bolt under here on the other side of this wood. Uh, you have two in here, so you have to lower this. Um, I probably will have to take this piece out down here. Sorry, I'm not seeing it. Let me see if I can get you up there. That piece there, that will have to come out. I'm hoping I don't have to lower the steering column. I'm hoping, maybe against all hope, that I can just pull it forward enough for me to get in there. But, of course, I do have to actually get screws in and maybe I won't be able to without taking the dash completely out I gotta do what I gotta do my own mistake I should have uh, put it in first but there you go can't win them all can you I'm um, also at the same time I want to find out regarding my oh, sorry not looking at it this one here I guess hey, it's my overdrive switch no it's not it's my choke switch at least that's what it's going to be all right, let's uh, start ripping this apart and uh, I'll give you some updates as I go along. Oh, also one other thing that I know I've got to do is this here, this seal is split. When my brother was installing it, it decided it was going to split. Or was it my brother decided it was going to split? I'm not sure which. We will find out one day. However, that's something I've got to replace which means I've got to take this frame out and in fact I think what I might do is I've got the clip-on mirrors I might just put those mirrors on because as I'm well just taking it up and down the road and backing in and out of the garage I can't see where I'm backing up to other than turning around and I like mirrors so I think that's probably something I'm going to be doing in the not too distant future. God, this chrome needs a bloody good clean. Jeez, look at that. I can polish it with my finger. Thumb. Fingers and thumbs. Up your bums. Look at it. Yeah. That'll be cleaned when it's finished. Okay, let's get on and do this, baby. Okay. The vent is in. Bit of a struggle getting the screws in, but I got there. Um... One thing I'm going to do while I'm here, whilst, is I need to put the speedo cable in. And it goes through that bottom hole down there. I don't know if you can see it. Hang on, let me see if I can zoom you. Got to get the right button on this camera, that's the trouble. Zip. See, you can, there, see down the bottom there? That's the grommet that's going to come out, and I'm going to put a speedo cable through there with the grommet on it, of course. Let's get that done. Hey, just wanted to throw this picture in, a oh, little video clip rather, um, to show you I do also get other cars uh, in my shop, let's call it that, um, to fix. And this customer actually trusts me. Isn't that nice? See what happens when you do good work? Well, what is today's bit of fun going to be? Yeah, how about that? One of my customers brought me his Porsche. Um, we have a little problem on this one. The AC is not blowing the same on the passenger side, he tells me. Now, I don't know if that's a sink problem, uh, if it's a um, Freon problem, or an actuator problem, I don't know. So, I'm going to have a look and see what I can discover. Uh, I've told him if it means tearing the dash apart, I don't really want to do that. Not on a Porsche. But I'd have a look and see what's involved first before I said that. 
Oh boy. Too many things going on at once. I got the die so I can confirm that it's the uh, engine that's leaking oil. Uh, I've got the speedo cable here, just managed to get this grommet on. That was a bit of a battle, I'll tell you that now. Um, this has to be pushed in from the uh, engine bay side because there ain't no way you're going to get that through the hole. Uh, I got the fuel gauge out, trying to figure out what the fuck's going on there. I know my fuel sender is working. Um, I checked it, I took it out and checked it. Um, then what happened is I connected um, this and it, it, it went further up from full. So I'm, no matter which way round I put these wires, so I don't know whether this gauge is fucked inside. I have no clue. I'm going to have to look into it further. Maybe I need to buy another fuel gauge, who knows. Uh, it could be the voltage stabiliser. I've got to check that too to make sure I'm getting uh, 10 volts out. And through reading various articles, it doesn't just put 10 volts out. It kind of puts 12 and then it switches it off and then puts 12 and then switches it off. Trying to flutter between 10 and 12. Um, not a very satisfactory way, but apparently that's the way it works. So I'm going to look into that. And look, I've got the pin there for the door. I've got to deal with that. Oh my God. Too many things. But, you know, attack them one at a time. Next, get the speedo cable in. Well, way down there. Uh, you can see that the speedo cable is coming through that bottom hole. I now have it connected up here. Oops, hang on a second. Boop. There she is connected. Hang on, let me see if I can show you. This one here, this nice brassy looking one. Uh, it went on okay. I do wish I could get these wires tidier back here. Um, so much crap. It seems to have gone okay. Uh, it's tight. Uh, I've also got the trip, which is this one here. And I've got to make sure I feed that down. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can show you. Uh, hang on, hang on. You see, she's way up over there. That doesn't belong up there. And I don't want it wrapped around that ground wire either. So let me... Sorry, folks, you're going to have to just put up with this for the moment. All right, there we go. All right. Ah. Oh, where'd it go? There it is now. Okay, so that is now tucked down, ready to be bolted into whatever it is and I think it's a hole in the uh, aluminium panel that goes underneath uh, there's one for the clock and uh, one for the speedo uh, the trip whatever you want to call it so now all I got to do <laughs> all I've got to do is put the dash back in uh, somebody was asking me oh it was Craig hang on a second so hopefully Craig if you're watching this video, and if not, why not? And if you're not, you won't hear me cursing at you. These are the connections here. This is the bracket, one of the brackets here. That bracket there is for the dash top. Then there is that bracket there. Hang on. That one there, that connects through to the center dash part where two screws, bolts, whatever, come through and fix it. Um, there is a couple down the bottom for the, um, bracket that holds the under dash panel. There is, if I can get to show you. Down there. Hang on, let me see if I can point it out to you. There is, uh, Oh, hang on, you can't see it. 
Gimbal, just do as I fucking tell you, not what you feel like. Oh, this fucking thing drives me nuts. Oh, man, you can't do that. Yeah, I fucking can. It's my camera. This here where my fingers are, that is a bracket that has to be on for the panel that goes underneath. Over here, I can't quite show it to you, but over here in this corner is another twisted bracket um, that attaches the dash to this frame here. Um, can I show it to you? Hang on. Sorry folks if this is bothering you, I'm doing this for Craig. And if I could get my camera to focus. No, not there. Stop it. Um, hang on a second. Sorry folks, you really are just going to have to put up with this shit. <clears throat> All right, if I turn it upside down. I turn the camera upside down. All right, hang on. Zip. I can't get it to focus on what I want it to focus on. Oh, you cunt. Hang on. So you're looking at that. Zip. Zip. There it is, there, underneath the big black bracket. Let's see if I can get my hand to point to it. Down here, this, this one here. I don't know if you can see that. It's there. That goes on the underside of the dash. It's a twisted piece of flat metal. One screw attaches to the dash and the other screw attaches to the underside of the metal. Um, again, apologies to all of you that are watching that going, what the fuck? Um, this was for one of my subscribers and I would do the same for any of my subscribers. So, Craig, don't think you're special. <laughs> Joking. But this is what I do with my channel. If you need help and I can give it, I will. There it goes again, every fucking time. All right, uh, let's move on. Okay, yeah, you've seen this a hundred times. The dash is now back in. Uh, just got a couple more screws to make the final fixing. The air vent, or the windscreen vent, whatever you want to call it, um, is now in. So I can attach the hose to that. That'll be fun. Just what I need to do. Uh... Where are we progressing on other things? Uh, I'm just trying to think. What the shit? I've got so much to do. Oh, by the way, sorry, digression. Anybody want a steering wheel? I've got two of these. Uh, email me if you're interested in a steering wheel. May need a little work. They're good, but they're not perfect. We can come to an arrangement of cost. I'm not sure what bits I have for the steering wheel, by the way. I know I have the horn ring. I'm not sure if I have the centerpiece. I think I do, but I'd have to double check. Then we can agree or disagree on a price. Uh, still got the... Oh, come on. Overdrive choke switch to do. I'm wondering if I can get someone to print something instead of saying overdrive that says choke. That would be good. Don't know where I'll get that done. Is it like a screen print? Somebody can do plastic screen printing in the shape that I want. I'll have to look into that. There goes that bloody phone again. <laughs> All right. Uh, in fact, I know what that is. That you know, that phone call. Um, that that's the, the the Porsche that I showed you earlier. Um, I, I told him I was going to take it to Vegas for a test drive. <laughs> but uh, he knows I'm not serious. Okay, that's enough. 
All right, uh, even though the installation is not finished yet, I just wanted to show you this. You can see here I have a cable wiring harness. Uh, in fact, I've just um, taken the bracket off of that because I'm going to run the speedo cable and the wiring harness in the same clip. Then the... Oh, shit, come on. The uh, speedo cable, ignore that grommet, I'm going to cut that off goes over the top of the bell housing and comes around if I can show you if I can show you comes around here there it is there that lovely cable and then what I have to do is get it uh, is get it into there and I have enough length on it the only thing I've got to do is find an appropriate size bolt for that the clip is here it has a nice rubber seal on it I just put a dibby dab of oil on that so that it seals then this will all be in here held nicely um, I've got a heat shield here which is going to protect the cable and it should be good to go I don't think I'm going to put a clip here I'll see once I've got this in I'm going to see how how it runs um, and how it looks um, I, I initially I did think of bringing it underneath the gearbox but then I thought now I'm asking for fucking trouble if I do that it's going to get caught um, also up there you see those two little brass connectors I think that's the reverse switch I don't know I've got to find out where the wiring is for the reverse light it may well be up there somewhere I don't know uh, maybe it's one of the wire sets that are related to the overdrive switch I don't know all right, wasn't that fun? Now get out of that garage. Go do some lovely shit.